New nigga, nigga I ain't never heard of, but he be going in. Look. Nigga, I'm in your hood like Jungle Juice. At the roundabout, take the second exit onto Strada Regionale 11, Padana Superiore, SS11. I don't know what that lady be talking about on that navigation. Italian shit. Yeah, I'm on it. All the fuck shit. Woo. Woo. No, not to fuck with. Yeah, guapa stacks. I'm driving today, y'all. I ain't even having enough time to just post up. I'm making moves. I got I got shit to do. I got shit to do. I got to turn that lady down. She messing up my song anyway. But yeah, that's another nigga. A nigga named Guapo Stacks. Yeah, I'm on that. Yeah, I'm on that. Yeah, I'm with all the fuck shit. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Saturday. It's a night day. Look, here go the mall. Here go the Italian mall. I show y'all look. Show y'all what I'm looking at. You feel me? Here go the Italian mall. That be big too, bruh. That be stupid big. The mo the parking lot ain't stupid dumb, cause I don't know. It, it puts cars out there though. They say the mall be closed on the weekend, but shit, all them cars out there. I don't think they be closed for real. I don't think they're closed for real. But y'all, 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 y'all. <laughs> it's Killer KC in the place to be. Why chase paper when paper can chase me? God damn, you better know, man. I'm feeling good today, man. I got the Ray-Bans on, man. Got me a championship by my hat on. You know what I'm talking about? But, um, you know, I always got something to say, man. I, I think on Saturdays I'm, I'm making this a pretty a good habit, man. I'm making this habitual. You know what I'm saying? Making it a habit is coming at y'all on Saturday. Nothing long, nothing too strong. You know what I'm saying? I used to have a, 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 one of my mentors used to tell me, look, I ain't going to talk long to you. I'm just going to talk strong to you. So I'm going to give y'all about 10 minutes on a Saturday and just try to help you remain focused, man. Remain consistent. Remain focused. Um... Making sure that you keep your finances in the forefront of your thoughts. Because a lot of times we don't, y'all. A lot of times we keep everything else in the front. Um, feeding the family. Uh, taking care of yourself. Getting you, you know, paying the bills. Uh, you know, getting you some nice things. You know, making sure you take care of all the needs. And then having a, a, enough money to handle some of the wants. Right? Like, that's that's it. That's the, that's the thoughts. Take care of all the needs. Then have some money so you can have some of the wants. That's it. But when you do that, you completely lose sight of finances. You completely lose sight of stacking. You completely lose sight of working towards a financial goal, which for me is financial freedom. You know what I mean? So and to, to, de to define that, I don't know what financial freedom is to you, but to me, it's no longer to having to, to work for money. All right. Not not saying no longer need money. You're going to always need money because we're going to always need goods and services. Right. But no longer to having to work for money is one thing. All right. But, uh, you know, another thing is that we, we stay behind the money, man. We are, we are most of us are in a negative cash flow cycle. Close the sunroof. Most of us are in a negative cash flow cycle, man. You know what I mean? Meaning if you ever you know you in a negative cash flow cycle, if, if you ever say this, when I get paid, I'm going to do X, Y and Z. When that stimmy hit, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. When them taxes drop, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. What the hell? All right, I don't know what the hell. I I'm stopped now. I put over at the gas station so I can go and get this thought out. Um, so, yeah, so like I was saying, man, if you got, look, if you got to wait to get paid to make the power move to do anything to do something then you probably in a negative cash flow cycle which means you're behind the money like i said in my last video man what side of the money are you on all right are you getting to the money all right are you are you in front of the money you got to think about it like this 
the people that really got it in this world, the people that the, the five, the ten, the fifteen percent, the top percent of this world, I say the top ten percent, well, top twenty, top twenty percent. So eighty percent of us are probably middle class or lower to middle class, and then twenty percent of us are the upper class, right? The top flow. The twenty percent of us that's on the top flow are in front of the money, which means the money come in, right? They pay their people, they pay their employees, they pay their expenses, they do everything they got to do, and then they pay their taxes last, right, on what's left. The people that's behind the money, the 80% of us that are just regular workers, you know what I mean, the money come in, and then we pay the taxes first, we pay all the people, everything that we got to do, you know, we pay all the bills, you know, everybody gets paid. When, when our money hit and then we get paid last you do you see the difference you either in front of the money or behind the money and it doesn't matter how much money you make because it's where you're situated at, at you know in relation to your chick all right and most of us the most of us that are behind the money are in a negative cash flow cycle it's because everybody's getting paid before you are and it don't matter whether you in the army like me. It don't matter if you doggone, you know, make six figures at a Fortune 500. You know, you're a top executive at a major company, corporation. It don't matter if you in the NBA. It don't matter if you work at damn McDonald's. It don't matter if you, you know what I'm saying, if you change tires at the oil, at the oil spot or change, do oil changes. All right? At the end of the day, the way you make your money is going to dictate how you operate a lot of times and then how much money you make is what's going to do is what you're going to center your lifestyle around and this whole this whole situation is capitalism working against you all right the only way to defeat capitalism is to is to start playing chess not checkers see that's the thing most of us think it's all about making more money that's why we go to school not not shitting on school but a lot of times the reason why we want to go to school is so we can earn that degree so we can increase our earning potential outstanding good job right but at the end of the day you're just increasing you're increasing your earning potential but you're not building more wealth think about it somebody can have a million dollar lifestyle and make five hundred thousand dollars a year well if that's you then you broke for half the year it don't even matter yeah you make six figures but you living but your expenses exceed your your income <laughs> and if your expenses exceed your income, then you're in a negative cash flow cycle and it don't matter how much money you make. All right. So uh, a lot of times we got to stop this. That's why I, that's why I'm preaching to y'all. You got to operate as a business, business minded. Remember, what's the purpose of a business? The purpose of a business is to profit. That's why we in business. That's what capitalism is. Capitalism is a financial situation, a financial uh, economic system where it's built off of private business owners who operate their business for the sole for the sole purpose of profit. All right, and then with that profit, with, with the bit with the revenue that the business generate, they can pay people, they can finance their expenses, they can finance their dream, they can reinvest into their business, and then they have money to you know they have money to left over for their lifestyle, and then they can pass that business down to generations. That's generational wealth. All right, uh, and, and you got to understand just because you own your situation don't necessarily mean you own your business all right because there's a difference between being self-employed and being a business owner all right you you're on your way to it if you're self-employed but you ain't there yet if you're a business owner you don't necessarily have to go to work for your money to for your company to make money jeff bezos who is the owner of amazon you think he got to get up and go to work for amazon to generate dollars <laughs> If you got the, if your money is directly tied to your time or your effort, then you ain't there yet. Okay, you still working on it. All right, just like me, I'm still working on it. But it's just I got the mindset, the progression to try to get to that point. And that's what we got to do. We got to focus on getting to that point. All right, when your business and your system creates dollars, when your money is creating money, then you've reached a point to where now you can really splurge. Now your income can your your income exceeds your expenses, and you can get you know you can you can actually say that you're financially free. But until you get to that point, you're just running in place and it don't matter how much money you make 
All right, you got to understand this. So when I say operate like a business owner, it's a few things I'm talking about. And, and now I'm starting to talk about the technical aspects, right? I didn't gave y'all the platform. I didn't gave y'all the foundation, the mindset. Okay, this is what I need to do. I need to be the CEO of me. I'm a brand. Who's a brand? You a brand. I'm the business. So if you're going to operate as a business owner, remember the purpose of business is to what? Profit. So if you're not profiting, why are you working? Same thing with your life, with your, with your situation. If you're going to work every day, every week, every you getting paid, you know, you going to work, you getting paid, but you're not profiting. If you're going to work and the money come in and then the money go out and then the money come in and the money go out, then you're not fulfilling the purpose of what you're working for. The purpose of business is to profit. So the purpose of working is to generate income, but they don't never teach us what's the purpose of profiting. How about that? What is the purpose of profiting? Why do you want to profit? Or why do you want to generate income? Or what do you do once you have the money coming in? How do you reinvest the money into your situation, into your money, to where the money can start to make money instead of you having to always work for it? Like I said, if your money is always directly tied to your time and your effort, then you will never be financially free. You're just going to have to go put in more time and more effort. That's why I always say the money that you work for is not meant to be spent, y'all. That money is meant to be reinvested into your business, into your passions, into investments, all right? Stocks, bonds, certificates of deposit, different different interest generating uh, accounts that you can that you can that you can put your money into. All right? Banks are businesses. And what's the purpose of business? Exactly. Banks are making money off of your money. Do you understand that? Do you understand that your savings account is generating 1% to 2% for you and off of that same money, they're reinvesting it and making 5, 8, 10, 12% off of your money? Do you, you know what I'm saying? So banks are making money, all right? The educational system, all right, those, those colleges and universities, those are businesses. What's the purpose of business? Exactly. So why you think so many people around here struggling with student loans? Why you think a, a college's sole purpose is to get as many people as they can in for freshman orientation and they give a fuck about who make it to graduation? Because the purpose of business is to profit. That's it. Hey, the, the, the purpose of the college, yeah, they, they want to educate you, but hell, that's that's beside the point. Okay, that's beside the point. The bottom line is what they really doing it for. That's what the whole motivation is, all right? But I want to I want y'all to understand that in order for you to operate like a business, which is what I'm telling you to do, is the first thing you got to do is you got to put the bottom line up front. You got to put how much money you're making versus how much money you're spending has to be something that you continuously look at. You got to be consistent with that shit because a business owner will always look at the bottom line. A business owner is always thinking about okay, is this a lifestyle expense or is this a business expense? Okay, am I make am I spending this money? to be able to operate, to help me go to work, to be able to help me fulfill uh, my, my duties for me to be able to generate income? Or is this just me spending some money because, you know, I want to feel good about what I'm doing and, I, and I, I work hard, so I deserve to treat myself? It's important to, to, to distinguish between the two. Don't just willy-nilly spend y'all money no more. That's not operating as a business. That's what I'm saying. You can be an employee and still operate as a business. All right, you just got to remember if you're operating as a business, what's the purpose of business? To profit. So if you if your purpose is to profit, then you always keep an eye on the bottom line. You always paying attention to where your money's going and cuz look, it's not what you do, it's not what you make that's important. It's not what you make that matters when it comes to building wealth. It's not what you make that really has anything to do with the lifestyle that you're going to eventually end up living. Yeah, the money you make right now determines what type of car you got, what type of cut of steak you eat, with how big your house is. But it's not go it has nothing to do with your retirement situation. It has nothing to do with are you going to be able to pass that down to the next generation. All right? Remember, what you make is not what builds wealth. What you do with what you make is what builds wealth. All right, it's Money Melissa Financial. All right, I'm here, y'all. I'm here for y'all. I'm helping. T I'm trying to teach y'all what I'm learning, and I'm remaining focused on it. All right, hey, Money Melissa Financial. Get paid, y'all. Don't get slaved. Remember three aspects: business, assets, gains. You got to get to all three to secure the bag. And if you ain't so, if you ain't working as a business, then you ain't even started yet. Your bag ain't secured yet. All right, so I'm trying to help you uh, get on the path so you can get on the road towards financial freedom because I want us all to get there. All right, look, it's enough room 
on, in the penthouse for everybody to make it to the top flow. But it's all about your decisions, your choices, how you choose to operate. It's chess, y'all. It ain't checkers. So I'm trying to get you to flip the table over and put some different pieces on that mug and start learning how what, what pieces make what moves. Because in checkers, everything moves the same, right? Everything moves the same. But in chess, you got different pieces making different moves, and it's a lot more strategic. All right, you got to think ahead. All right, so if, if you're going to get to the point to where you're ahead of the money, you got to play chess, y'all, not chess. All right, financial freedom, baby. We on the way. Money, militia, financial. Get paid, y'all. Don't get slaved.